Here in Georgia, more and more jobs are being filled by incarcerated people who are not paid to do them. This takes jobs away from the rest of the state and turns a jail sentence into enslavement. Let's look at what's happening. The 13th Amendment makes slavery illegal, except as a punishment for crime. This means that it's legal for prisons to make money by forcing incarcerated people to work for free and outsourcing that labor to different companies. But forced labor goes beyond fair punishment for breaking the law. Being forced through violence and retaliation to work for no pay, sometimes in dangerous situations, is a violation of basic human rights. Incarcerated workers are excluded from basic workplace protections, so they can be sent with minimal training to work in unsafe conditions without protective gear that would be standard in other workplaces. Corrections departments and local governments market enslavement as a benefit to taxpayers. In fact, it's a detriment to taxpayers and job seekers who were denied those same jobs and left unemployed. And many of the companies that use slave labor won't hire employees with a criminal record. So you could do a job for years for free and then not get hired to do it for a paycheck. Because it's so hard to find a job, formerly incarcerated people are often forced to rely on public benefits that taxpayers pay for. We all deserve to be treated with dignity and paid a fair wage for our work, whether we're incarcerated or not. The good news is the people have the power to change Georgia's constitution and make modern day slavery illegal. Call your legislators, visit our website, and share this video with a friend. Together, we can end slavery in Georgia.